In tonight's Health Watch, summertime means outdoor time for most of us, but that also means it is tick season. And cases of Lyme and other diseases are running high this season. CBS 2's Dr. Max Goma is here now with a little known way to protect ourselves. Doctor. And also what to do if you do find a tick on you, which is important because in addition to Lyme disease, ticks can transmit nearly a dozen nasty diseases, some actually worse than Lyme. Here's how to protect yourself and how to remove a tick. It's starting to become a common summertime ritual. Outside activity followed by a top to bottom tick check. Experts say global warming has led to an explosion in the tick population. So don't be surprised to find one on you after hiking, camping, golf, even gardening. First, don't panic. It takes 24 to 48 hours after a tick attaches for it to transmit Lyme. But you should remove them like this. Don't burn the ticks off. Don't bury them under fingernail polish and don't squeeze them. Try to take a tweezers and get as close to the skin as you can so you get close to where their little snout is and you remove them. And pull gently. Once the tick is removed, watch for symptoms. Fever, achiness, or rash. And for the Lyme infection, it is typically is called the bullseye or the target rash where it's a circular rash. But as with all diseases, prevention is much better than treatment. What you wear outdoors can impact whether a tick will attach itself to you. Try to wear long clothing. Long sleeve shirts and long pants will make it more difficult for ticks to find your skin. You can also tuck long pants into boots to ensure ticks can't get inside a pant leg. And of course, use insect repellent. DEET is the only ingredient that's been proven effective. But there's another layer of protection most people don't know about that can be applied to outdoor gear and clothing. It's a spray containing permethrin. Spray your clothing and some of your camping gear with another chemical compound which is not designed for the skin but can be put on clothing and fabric and such to help repel the ticks. And permethrin doesn't just repel ticks and other biting insects, it's actually toxic to them, kills them. And very little is absorbed through the skin, so it's considered safe for humans. Still, just use it on clothing. Better yet, its effects are said to last through multiple washings, which means you don't have to keep spraying it all the time. You can spray your outdoor clothing or gear, mm -hmm. spray that, and that'll last through a bunch of washings with a little bit of luck most of the season. Wow. So let it sit a little bit after you spray it, though, before you put well, it on, Well, yeah, right? you don't want to put it on when, yeah. when it's wet. The instructions are on all the bottles that contain the, the permethrin, yeah. but it's not a bad way to repel the stuff. Good advice. Thank you, Doctor. You bet. Thanks, Dr. Max.